Hey everyone, it's Josh here with HostGator. Today I'm going to show you how to export your database so that you have a backup on file. Let's get started. Now in an earlier video I showed you how to take a full backup of your cPanel and there's two different ways that we can take an export of a database. I'm going to show you the easiest way and then I'll show you a more complex way. First thing that I want to do is start out here in my cPanel and if I want to take a really quick backup of a database that I have on file, I'm going to click the backup section here. And if we scroll down to the middle portion of this page, we'll see that we have a download a MySQL database backup section. Now, all I really need to do is select the database that I want to take a backup of and click on it. So what I want to do is just take a backup of this one. I'll click it and it'll start downloading right to my desktop. Now, this should go to your downloads folder. You can click open that folder and you'll see that file right there. Now this is going to give you a compressed file format, so a .gz file. Now if you want to take a different file format, perhaps a .sql or something similar, I'll show you how to do that through phpMyAdmin. So what we'll do is click on the databases section here, and now I want to scroll to the phpMyAdmin section. Now you may not have jumped into this before, but it's a really cool functional tool inside of cPanel. It allows you to view all of your databases and these specific uh, tables, rows, and data that's inside of each of them. Now the first thing that we have to do here is click on the plus sign next to our cPanel username, and that's gonna show us all the databases that we have on file. So if I wanted to take a backup or an export of my WP846, all I need to do is click on it. And as you can see here in the middle, we have all the tables and all the data that's inside of that database. Now, what I wanna do is click on the export button up here. And that's gonna take me to a page where I've got some different options. Now, the quickest, easiest way is always gonna be the quick display only. So what I wanna do here is show you the custom, because if you want to do specific tables, you can actually do so here. And you have some different output names and character sets if you wanna change it. Now, a lot of people aren't going to need to do this section, so I'm going to show you the quick method, which is my favorite. We'll click the quick section, and all we need to do now is choose the format. If you're working on HostGator servers, the easiest way to export and import is going to be through .sql. It's going to default to that. Highly recommend using that as an option. So if that's a good option for you, go ahead and click the Go button, and it's going to start downloading right to your desktop. If we open that up again, show inside the folder. It's gone right to my downloads folder, and I've got that on file now in case I ever need to have it. So if you need to work on your database or send it to someone else to import, now you've got those files set and stored, and it's really easy to go from there. I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, leave them below, and please subscribe if you want to see more helpful videos. Thanks, y'all.